Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to show you how I designed an OC or original character. I had this idea of creating four characters representing four seasons of the year. So spring, summer, autumn and winter. And I'm going to start with spring. I'm going to walk you through all the steps that I take to create this original character. And if you like this video and are interested in seeing how I designed the other three characters, let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to record this process for you too. So let's start with our first character, Spring. The first step of creating an OC is to think about and write, if possible, the description of your character. Think about anything that comes to your mind. So in my case, this girl, Spring, she has pink hair, she loves to spend time outdoors, and she loves flowers and riding a bicycle. That's my general description of her. I also thought about her personality. So what I wrote is that she's spontaneous, fun, talks fast, and a little bit impatient. And she's also kind, helpful, a good friend, and fun to be around. So this girl, you, you can already imagine someone with this personality and this will determine your future choices like when you when you determine the personality of your character it will help you to think about what kind of clothes this person wears or what kind of expressions they have so i think that's an important step so step number two is to collect references. So for this, I use Pinterest. Sometimes I use Google to search for some specific images to see the like if I need some specific position of the hand or a specific pose, I can search on Google. But most of the time I use Pinterest. I created a board where I collected all the relevant references and I searched, in my case, I searched for spring. So what came up was like flowers. Then I thought, okay, what can I, how can I connect this to my character. So I found some nice references of the outfits. I, actually, I already looked, first I looked through the references that I already had in my on my Pinterest board in the random folder. And so that gave me some ideas, like I found some interesting outfit that I wanted to use. So I already had an idea of what kind of outfit I want. Then I started searching for similar images and you know how it goes, you see something related to this image, you can save it and so on and so forth. So that's how I did it. And I co uh, collected a few reference images for my character and I already thought about how her hair would look like. So I just needed mostly the pose and the outfit. So step number three is to start sketching. So take all of your references, put them on a split screen in Procreate or just on your computer to see all of them together. And then you can start sketching your ideas. Sometimes it will flow quickly. Like in my case, I think it was it was quite easy because I already had a pretty clear idea in mind, but usually it's not like that and you have to explore more ideas. Sometimes you have to make a lot of sketches before committing to one of them. But yeah, so the, this at this stage, just try to sketch something roughly to see if it works. So here you can see that I'm sketching very roughly and I decided to start with the pose that I found in the reference pictures. It doesn't have to be precise and you can explore different poses. Now I'm, I'm starting to add more details to this stick figure and I can change the proportions this way so it's really easy at this stage to change things and then I'm gonna try to refine everything and add clothes and more details to my sketch. So 
So you can see that I take some details from one reference, for example, the pose and the main, the clothes, but I take a few details from another reference picture, like this overalls with flowers. A really cute, that was what actually inspired me to make this outfit with, with overalls. And I also want her to hold the flowers in her hand, so I'm not gonna draw the hands like in this reference. I'm gonna use the reference with the girl holding flowers for that. I struggle a lot with drawing hands and arms. Actually arms now, even more than hands. I never know how to draw them correctly, so uh, you will see me you will see me changing things a lot and struggling redrawing all over again And I'm starting to sketch the face. Now she will look a little bit like an alien, <laughs> but it will get better. So when I talked about the first step, when you think about your character's personality, that helps me now to decide her on her expression. I want to make her a little bit playful and fun, so that determines the face expression that I'm drawing. So she's like looking at someone and smirking, and also I think freckles go well with this kind of character. So that's where the first step pays off. And pay attention that I drew this character in three quarters view, like her face. I read that this angle gives you the most information about the character and consequently it will be easier to draw her in other angles. That's what I hope at least. So I decided to do that. We will see how it goes. You can see that I changed a lot of details and expressions. I think it's very important to make your character really distinctive and recognizable because later you're gonna draw this character over and over again and you need to have as many small details as possible to make it recognizable in different ex with different expressions and angles.
So now I'm gonna refine my sketch. I just copied these two rough sketches to see the progression of my character. And now on a new layer I'm creating the clean line art. So I'm gonna refine everything and add small details like wrinkles on the clothes, folds and yeah all the little things, flowers. So I'm gonna speed this process up because I'm not doing a lot of new things here, mostly just drawing over my sketch. I struggle with the hands all over again so I think the best way is to draw through the clothes so you can see where the shoulder connects to the arms again not hands I always confuse them the best way to draw arms is to draw through the clothes because then you can do it more correctly you can see where the shoulder connects to the arm and it helps a little bit but still, I struggle with it. Eventually I decide to put one hand in the pocket so I will have less struggle. So I will have to struggle only with one arm instead of two. 
how it's a bit easier. So next I want to draw my character in the front view. The first one was in three quarters and now it will be just the front view. So I'm not gonna draw everything from scratch. I'm only gonna get copy the face with the shoulders, like a little bit of the uh, upper body. And I'm just gonna draw over this sketch so I can move things around, use liquify tool. It will make my life much easier. What also helps is to draw the guide. In this case I draw the guidelines for each facial feature because I'm not very confident in drawing characters at different angles so for me it's necessary. I draw the guides to identify where the eyes start and ends, then the nose, mouth and so on. So I do that for the face mainly. Then you can lower the opacity of these guides and just start to remove the things that are not necessary. I don't want to draw a backpack in this angle and the flowers, so I'm going to remove all of that. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is move all the facial features to the central, central line. Then I'm gonna redraw the nose a little bit.
this angle, I'm gonna push the hair to make the hairline central. And we need to draw another ear because in the front view you see both ears. Don't forget to flip your canvas to see everything better. I didn't like how I drew the ear so I just duplicate the other one and copy and paste so there is no shame in that I think it's totally normal we use digital art to help us draw so I do that quite often with eyes and ears symmetrical things now let's try to draw the profile view it will be difficult because now I have to redraw everything from scratch. I cannot just use three quarters and change it because profile view is completely different. So as usual, I start very roughly and I try to sketch the base from my head.
And again, once we're done with the rough sketch, in this case, I'm not gonna do the second rough sketch. I'm just gonna start to refine everything with the clean lines. Now we are done with the basic angles, so we have three quarters, front view and the profile view and I'm gonna draw some emotions. So I want to sketch how my character would look like in different, with different face expressions. So I copied the front view of the character. I'm gonna just change the details on this character. So I want to make a happy character, so I start with the mouth. And I also redraw the lower eyelids because they will squint when we smile a lot or laugh. Our uh, lower eyelids squint and go up. So the main things that change is the jaw goes down. So you, when your mouth opens, your jaw goes down and the lower eyelids go up. I'm using references for this. You can you don't see them here, but I'm using them on my computer. So don't feel ashamed of using references. You can use photos or drawings of other artists to see how they captured some emotions and expressions. That helps me a lot. Don't get discouraged when it doesn't work at first. So you have to see and try and change the position of some features. So as you can see, it took me quite a lot of time to finally be satisfied with this happy expression. I like the face, but everything looks very 
similar to the front view. So I'm gonna change some other things, like I'm gonna lift up her shoulders and I'm gonna put her arms uh, wider apart from her torso. So it will emphasize my motion because if you just draw the same body and change the face, it doesn't really emphasize the expression and emotion that you want to highlight. So I will try to make variations in my characters and change different things. So for example, I also changed the braid. It kind of starts to jump and you can see that even the braid is, the braid looks happy. So you can show your emotion in different ways, not only with the face. And I think it looks much better than if I just used the same torso of the front view and changed the features of the face. So this way it works better and it communicates things better. And actually it looks, it looks more interesting because it's different. changing the profile view a little bit. I think it was the nose was too far from the rest of the face. And the next emotion that I want to draw is sad. So I copied the front view again and I'm gonna change the details here. So for the sad expression, I'm going to change her eyes, which will be more, uh, they will look down and her eyelids will lower. Of course, I'm going to change the mouth as well. And this emotion doesn't seem really sad to me. I don't know. It looks like she's disgusted or something. I don't know, but it doesn't work for me. So I went and googled some drawings of a sad expression and it helped me understand what was wrong so i think the eyebrows were the problem uh, when you're s most of the drawings that i saw with the sad expression the eyebrows were curved to the other side so without these she looks kind of angry or something i don't know but i struggled a lot to understand it's in the beginning, understand what was wrong, why I couldn't draw a sad expression and I only managed to draw an angry one. But yeah, after looking at the other artists references, I noticed that the eyebrows were the problem. So you will see me change them later. And I didn't delete this part on purpose for you to see how much time it took me to get it right. And you can see that the expression gets even angrier and angrier, but not sad what, how, uh, as I'm changing the eyes.
and you can see that now it works. She looks very miserable and not angry anymore, but I'm still gonna change the eyes. I decided to go back to the beginning and to draw the eyes again. So I think this way it works much better than what I had before. And I'm also gonna work on the pose a little bit because she's sad, everything's kind of down as opposed to when she's happy and things are lifting up and jumping. So here I'm gonna put the t-shirt closer to her body to show this effect of everything lowering down. And I'm gonna draw one more emotion. This time I'm gonna draw it in three quarters view, just for variation. I wanna make her like a little bit angry and sulky, and I wanna change the angle of her face a little bit so she looks like uh, she looks from below, like she looks up, something like that. I, I just copied the t shirt from the front view, but I got the three quarters view head. I hope it makes sense. First, I'm gonna erase all the face facial features because they will be um, in different positions, they will be squished differently, so there is no point in keeping them. And then I'm going to use the liquify tool to change the angle of the head so as i said i want it i want her to look up like uh with the lower head her head will be lowered and she'll be looking up so it will be like that i'm trying to draw the new guidelines for the facial features and in this angle we see more of her forehead and uh, more of her of the top of her head as well so that's why i'm liquify I am using the liquify tool to to show more hair I decided to bring back the facial features just to have some kind of reference. So I'm gonna weirdly place them <laughs> in the different positions. So for now it will look really weird, but I'm gonna lower the opacity and I'm just gonna use them to help me a little bit.
facial expression is very difficult for me to draw so I attempt many times And in the end I decided to change the braid in the profile view a little bit to add more visual interest. So the braid will be like uh, flowing with the wind. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you and you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments if, if you would like to see my other character design processes. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching again and see you in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.